Hello friends, my name is Tushar and today I'm going to talk about Morris in order traversal which does not use a stack or a recursion to do in order traversal of a binary tree. First let's quickly talk about in order traversal. So here we have a binary tree. In in order traversal we first visit the left subtree and then we visit the node and then we visit the right subtree and this is true for every node. So starting from 10 we are first going to visit the left subtree so we come to 5 Starting from 5, we are first going to visit the left subtree, so we come to 2. So 2 doesn't have a left subtree, so visit 2. 2 doesn't have a right subtree, so we come go back to 5, and then we visit 5. And then we go on the right side of 5, which is 7, so 7 gets uh, printed next. And then we are done with the left subtree, so we go to 10, visit 10, and then keep repeating the process for the right subtree. So why do we need a stack or a recursion? Because when we are going from 10 to 5 or we are going to on the left side, we need a way to come back to 10. So when we go from 10 to 5, we need a way to come back to 10. Similarly, when we go from 5 to 2, we need a way to come back to 5. And this is what we achieve with the help of a stack where we keep popping, where we keep pushing the nodes into the stack and keep popping them back. And recursion also does a similar thing automatically for you. So Morris Traversal solves this problem of going back in a very unique way. What we do is first we find pre-order, first we find in-order predecessor of a node before even going on the left subtree, connect that in-order predecessor to the node, so establish a link between the in-order predecessor and the node, and then go on the left subtree. That way, since that link exists, we have a way to come back to the original node. So next, let's try to understand how Morris Traversal works. So as you can see, the algorithm for Morris Traversal is pretty small. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply this algorithm on this example here. So our current will be root. So initially our current will be 10. Then what we're going to do is, if 10 did not have a left child, then we could have visited 10 and moved on to the right side and we would have never had any more use for 10. But in this case, 10 does have a left child. So if left doesn't exist, then just visit the current and move on to the right side. But in this case, left exists. exists. So we're going to go into this else condition. So first thing we're going to do is look for the in-order predecessor of 10. And to find the in-order predecessor, you, go, you find the rightmost guy on the left subtree. So what we do is, starting from 10, we go one left and keep going as right as possible till the right is either null or the right points back to 10. Why the right will point back to 10, we'll come back later. But in this case, we'll keep going as right as possible and then the right will become null. So we'll reach 8 and 8 will be the uh, in-order predecessor of 10. So we found the in-order predecessor which is 8, 8's right does not exist and because 8's right is null, so we're going to go into this if condition and what we're going to do is we're going to set this link. So what we're doing here is we're setting 8's right to point to 10 and then we're going to change the current to 10's left. So as you can see, we established this temporary link between 8 and 10 so that we have a way to come back to 10 when we are done with the left subtree. And when we are done with the left subtree, we are going to also remove this link. So now our current is, uh, our current is 5. Again 5, has a, again, 5 has a left side. So again, we are going to go into this else condition. And again, we are going to look for a predecessor. To look for the predecessor, we start from minus 2, go as right as possible till you hit null or till you hit 5. In this case, you will hit null in, the, in here too. So what we're going to do is we're going to again create this temporary link. So again, predecessor's right will become current. So we're going to create this link between 2 and 5. And then, and then now we can safely move to the left of 5 because we have a way back to 5. So this becomes our new current. At this point of time, minus 2 doesn't have a left child, so we hit this if condition, we visit minus 2, 
because its left doesn't exist and then we are going to set current is equal to current right. So this is our new current. So for two left does exist so again we hit this else condition again we find the predecessor so predecessor of two is minus one so again we are going to establish this uh, temporary link and then we are going to go into the two's left which is uh, minus one so this becomes a new current minus one doesn't have a left child so it hits this if condition so we are going to print minus one and then current will become current right so minus one will become point to two minus one's right is pointing to two so current becomes two again so again we come back to this top while condition and now we are going to, again two doesn't have a does have a left child so we are going to look for the uh, we are going to look for the pre-order successor and uh, in order predecessor and while we are doing it what happens is we hit two this time so you, you go left and keep going right until either you hit null or you hit 2. So in this case you hit 2. What that means is that you have already traversed this path in the past and now you can safely remove this link because you have traversed the left subtree and you can visit 2. So that's what happens in this else condition. While looking for the while looking for the in-order predecessor you realize that you have already traversed this path so you just remove that link between minus 1 and 2 so predecessor dot right is equal to null and then you can visit 2 and then you can say current is equal to current right so when you say current is equal to current right 2's right is pointing to 5 so this becomes our new current again 5 has a uh, left, uh, left subtree so what that means is again we are going to keep looking for the rightmost uh, child till that, hit, that hits null or till, hits, till it hits 5 so minus 2's right is 2, 2's right is 5 what that means is that we have traversed this left subtree so now again we can safe, safely remove this link and we can safely visit 5 so 5 is visited next and then our current becomes current right so current becomes 6 so 6 doesn't have a left subtree so we are going to visit 6 in this if condition and current becomes current right so current becomes 8 Again, 8 doesn't have a left subtree, so we're going to visit 8 and we're going to say current is equal to current right. So when you do current right this time, you hit 10, you reach 10. And now 10 has a left subtree, which means that we are going to go look for either the uh, rightmost null or till we hit, we hit 10. So 5's right is 6, 6's right is 8, 8's right is 10. What this means is that we have traversed this path in the past we have traversed this left subtree already traversed this left subtree and now we can just safely remove this link so make uh, predecessors next point to null and uh, then we can visit 10 because the left subtree is already visited and we can move on to the right side so that happens again in this else condition so again 30 doesn't have a left subtree so we're going to visit 30 and move on to the right of 30 and now 40 doesn't have a left subtree so we're going to visit 40 and move on to the right of 40 at this point of time current will become null because 40's right is null which means that we can break out of this while loop so this is the uh, in order traversal of this binary tree so the time complexity for this algorithm is uh, O of n it looks like we are doing a lot more work but it's still in the order of n and the space complexity is O of 1 because we are not using any extra space just changing the tree and then changing it back also if you want to do the Morris pre-order traversal all you have to do is instead of visiting the current here you have to visit the current here so next let's look at the code for this algorithm the function here is in order and it takes in the root of the tree binary tree first we assign current is equal to root and then we stay in this while loop while current is not null then we're going to check if current left is null it means that there is nothing to explore on the left side so we visit the current or print its data and then we move on the right side so current becomes current right if left side is present 
then we find the in order predecessor of the current to do that first we set predecessor is equal to current dot left because that's where we're going to find the predecessor and then we go as right as possible so to do that we we have this while loop predecessors dot right either is not current and and predecessor right is not null so if both the conditions are true then we keep going right if any of this condition becomes false so either predecessor right will become current or predecessor right will become null then we will break out the while loop and then we're going to check which one of the two condition happened if predecessors dot right becomes null it means that we have not been on the left side and we should we should visit on the left side before that what we do is we establish this link between predecessors right to current and then we set current is equal to current left and this is all we discussed before in the video otherwise if predecessors right is equal to current it means that we have already visited the left side so then we break this link between predecessors right so by setting predecessors right to null visit the current or print the current data and then move on the right side if you are interested in looking at the pre-order of Morris traversal, then it's exactly same logic. The only difference here is before visiting the left side in the pre-order, we print the current data and then visit left side. While in the in order, after we are done with the left side, then we print the data. So this is all I have to talk about Morris traversal. Please like this video, share this video, comment on this video, check out my Facebook page and check out my GitHub link. Thanks again for watching this video.